tânt Coca-Cola logo or uh, Coca-Cola counter battle. So, uh, I will try to present you some of um, our works in a small uh, and simple uh, story. We are uh, the founders of the studio group. Uh, I have personally more than 20 years experience in marketing. I launch on Romanian market around seven brands fighting the big multinational companies present such as Kraft, Nestle and so on. My partner is specialized on design and in all his life he did just graphic art. In uh, 2012, we gathered together and we uh, set up uh, this studio with the aim of helping uh, Romanian brands to fight the big guys. Um, one of our first uh, theme was to launch an energy drink product. Well, the energy drink uh, market is quite uh, well developed and um, the field is also creative enough. The client was struggling us with all kinds of concepts. He didn't want it something innovative. He wanted more the classic shape, the classic color to go, let's say, the easy way. So um, at a certain point, well, I don't know if you know, but our national anthem, it's called Wise Up or Wake Up. Well, it's quite really difficult to translate into English. So due to the fact that nationalism brands are increasing, especially in recession, we thought, okay, let's launch this typical Romanian energy drink. We investigate a little bit the market with, uh, let's say, the most innovative uh, designs. All, you can see, there are the same classic shape, only one product that came with a new shape, not the standard Red Bull can. So, Red Bull, it's a generic brand in terms of product, design, and can shape. A rather small amount of innovation in materials used, and shapes also. Most are based on powerful contrasting colors, on the typical Red Bull can shape, and size, aiming physical recovery. Uh, how we started? We started from the idea that uh, the naming should be as simple as possible, equivalent of wake up. It should be suitable not only for physical recovery, but also mental recovery. In order to be easy, memorable, and inspire consumers, naming should be based on a saying that it's used in day-to-day -day life. That's how we come with Rise and Shine. We didn't want it a classical Red Bull shape can. We said we'll need something to be ownable in terms of shape, okay? We'd prefer to use other materials, maybe more eco-friendly than aluminum or highly re recyclable. Shine, the word inspire us to think of light. Rise, we need some dynamic effect in order to transmit the benefit of the drink. So we come with the conclusion that we have to be a container in the shape of a bulb close to a can made out of glass. And this is a concept. Uh, normally when you consume the product, it should, the white color should turn into gray so the consumers will have the feeling that they filled up with energy. Oh, it was spent toward it in 2013. So here are some re ideas regarding production. Normally we thought at glass that should change color while you're consuming. 
the cap can be made of aluminum in order to be as close as a product as a bulb. Also, if cost is an issue, then for a mainstream product, we can replace the glass with PET that can be white, transparent, or color, depending on the product. And that's how we thought that maybe the concept has multiple applications, something like energy shots with alcohol in 60 millimeter size and fluorescent color, carbonated drinks or energy drinks based even on milk derivatives like whey powder and fruit juice, which are, let's say, more healthier perceived by the consumers. Other consideration, well, the concept is quite rich and can have all kinds of innovative uh, collective packaging, POSM, and so on, and even the communication and advertising on the concept can be easily made. For a premium product, we propose like to be launching only in premium location like clubs and bars in order to have an impact on consumers and to become a kind of word of mouth product. Now about beer, following uh, my colleagues from Germany. Uh, turning consumer trends into product concept. Um, the story was in 2013, we received the award for the energy drink. And when we were in Barcelona, hoping to meet Karim Rashid and other famous designers, uh, Budweiser innovated the can shape, uh, having somehow the shape of their logo, in a shape of a bow tie, okay? Um, most probably the can producer can attest that it's a big step forward in innovating uh, this type of shape. Um, me as marketer, I ask myself, okay, what is it for me as a consumer? It's nice to have such a shape, but does it give this, me something extra? Does me connect better with the brand or tells me more about experiencing the product? So we thought, okay, how can we would like to improve this idea? So again, we analyze a little bit the market regarding the trends in beer packaging with all kind of uh, aluminum bottles uh, with the UV paint, um, master brewers signing on uh, the labels, unique shapes like Amstel or glowing effect, or even, let's say, more conceptual uh, design that sometimes is not so well related, in our opinion, with consumer. So beer packaging and design is becoming more and more complicating. Conceptual design is taking over. The latest trends are more and more about unique bottle shapes, combined finishings, thermosensitive things, artworks with a kind of storytelling, which is in original way, but sometimes with a moderate to low relevance for category consumers. So we felt to the need of a new concept based on less is more principle, a concept that will communicate consumers the main values of beer. We consider three trends on the Romanian beer market. Pet and can packaging are increasing in consumption, while out-of-home consumption is decreasing. This is mainly due to the crisis, let's say. PET is a really economical option for beer, especially if it's high volume. From Eastern Europe, it became more and more present even in the Western countries. But people were not getting out so much to drink beer and to have fun associated with it. Wanted to have a concept as simple as 
possible. As you notice, most of the artworks from other companies are becoming more, more and more complicated. What we wanted to transmit to our design, first, appetite appeal, that it's a must in any food or drink business, tradition, and joy of drinking beer. It, was, it should speak by itself and have a high visual impact on the shelves. Naming popular and German origin, of course. And this is the concept. So it's a can or container which body it's made out of molded PET and with an aluminum lid. Uh, production idea, we are not so specialized in technology, but this is the uh, main idea, using PET in a combination with uh, aluminum. The PET most probably should have a protective structure in order to maintain as long as possible the beer taste and freshness. Um, aluminum body cannot be an option because it uh, reduce embossing, they allowed only 0.25 millimeter. In order the can should be embossed in out, the depth needed is between two and three millimeter in order to manage to have the classic pint glass shape. Uh, the naming uh, that appears on the label, if we want to impress a little bit consumer, we can use thermosensitive inks because uh, PET is not cooling as fast as aluminum. So in order to know when the product is good to be served, we can uh, print with thermosensitive colors and the red color from the branding can turn green. If possible, a complete cap remover would be a plus. This will turn the package into a glass that can be reused, collect, or else. Uh, there are cans with this type of aluminum cap that it's fully removable. So in this case, uh, you can keep even uh, after using it. The size we propose to be completely different than the normal uh, cans, to be as close as possible of a German pint proportion. Um, possibility of using different pet colors for limited edition or else. Um, the printing should be always done on straight surfaces, most probably through serigraphy or applying labels. And um, the foam idea should be on a shrink sleeve label due to the fact that after package, the foam of the beer will disappear. Uh, some pros uh, for this concept. One of them we are considering that it's cost saving, materials and energy wise, compared with aluminum, but here most probably it's a full debate. Um, eliminates logistic cost if production of canned body is in house. You don't need to outsource uh, from suppliers cans anymore. Uh, it can increase efficiency of advertising investment and can be used for brands that have been built on values such as tradition and joy of drinking friendship. Freshness can be a plus if sustained by the product. And, of course, transmits a quality product and courage. Uh, some cons also. Most probably, beer technology has to be a little bit upgraded in order to sustain freshness 
as a product benefit, more suitable for brands with a fast shelf rotation due to the fact that PET doesn't give you the same uh, long-term uh, usage and also requires a longer cooling time. And also this, what I mentioned, lower shelf life compared with standard cans. Thank you for your attention. Any questions for Christian? Where's the Jeff from uh, Moscow Com? So you have been interested in this presentation all along. Are you here? Do you have any question? No? So is this now actually being introduced as uh, has one of the brands taken this up? No, this, this no, product? no. Oh, so no. it's <laughs> uh, even today is just a concept as uh, even other people said it's a big step that requires a lot of time and energy and support from idea to implementation. Right, so you're but still... right now it's still a, yeah. an idea. You want to try it, in, try it in China first? Who knows? We'll see. Anybody interested? No? <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, good luck with it. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs>